We're here at Hennessy Street in the Warner back lot, which is a facade of an East Coast metropolitan dingy neighborhood. We decided to dress it as Boston. We really wanted to push the limits by staging a live stunt extravaganza. We've had two days of rehearsal, and during those two days, it's really been a roller coaster of expectations. Um, just really dealing with the risks and all the possibilities of things that can go wrong. We're here on set at Warner Brothers for the launch of the Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 Pro. At this launch event, there is a live show portion consisting of a staged bank robbery shot on two Inspire 2s. We decided to orchestrate an experience in which the audience gets to see the Inspire 2 in action, on set, in real time. This is a huge undertaking of what we're executing today. We have elements from the event production company as well as a video production company, everybody conjoining together to make this whole thing happen. We also have a huge art department that's not just dressing the event space, but also making this entire video production, this, this whole cops and robbers scene come to life. The studio has never worked in this capacity with drones before and we're really breaking the mold and the and barrier of entry for drone use. What more can you ask for of the system than doing a really intense action scene live in front of everybody where you don't have the luxury of calling cut and resetting. The technology just has to work one take and go. And what's been amazing is that the technology has held up. You know, all of the rehearsal sessions have been about getting the timing right and the choreography and making the car crash in the right way. But every take, the drones just work perfectly. We chose to challenge ourselves with the complexity of this process in order to show the audience just how powerful the Inspire 2 is. We're seeing aggressive stunt driving. We're seeing guns being fired. So seeing that all in a way that makes narrative sense seems like something relatively easy to do for a filmmaker. But the fact that we're doing it live makes it ever so much more complicated. We had to make sure that all the angles were correct. We had to make sure that all the camera choreography we had to make sure that all the flight choreography was dialed in. We had to make sure that all the stunt actors knew exactly what they needed to do from top to bottom of the scene. There's so many moving parts that we have to be cautious about to make this work. So it's about to get loud. So if you have your earplugs, I'd recommend putting them now as we show you the next breakthrough in drone imaging technology. Take a look. Did you look in the mirror today? <sighs> okay, everybody, get on the ground now! We're not here for you. We're here for the money! But don't worry, you're insured by the great United States of America. Hey, why don't you hand me a water? Why well, I always gotta get you the yeah, water? I'm driving here. It's my car. Give me the water. It's around the corner. It's around the corner. 824 responding. 824 responding. Watch this. Light him up! Show me your hand! 
fired! Shots fired! I have an officer down! I need immediate medical assistance! I have three down! Location is Hennessy and Warner Brothers! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the DJI Inspire 2. Uh, I didn't realize they were going to be doing something live uh, with two drones going. So uh, having experienced a lot of filming and production myself, I was extremely nervous that something was going to go wrong. And I was like, this is absolutely crazy that they're doing this for the new drone. Uh, but they pulled it off. It was it was pretty phenomenal. This is the only time I've been handed earplugs and wasn't really sure going into it. And it was fun. You're on the edge of your seat and everything was kind of exciting. and. They really nailed it with this one. This was a pretty cool event. We got to witness what happens on set and things that could only probably be pulled off with a camera as versatile as what's on the Inspire 2. There's a lot of gunshots, crashes, police chase. It was pretty amazing. And I've never seen that before at any product launch, and I've been to many of them. I think DJI is now setting the new, the new standard for what a product launch should be. They've definitely raised the bar in that way. Today, seeing it out on a lot, actually doing what it's made to do, is pretty, pretty amazing.